Hey, this is gonna be a bit longer than usual since I still get sh on over that 15 seconds video that I did like 9 months ago. First I'm gonna explain the particle system and all the hair settings before we go into creating the actual hair. If you know the basics, skip to this time right here cause I have no idea when I'm gonna shut up so yeah. Select your plane. Go to particle properties and click on plus and put it on hair so we can begin. First we got number. That literally means what it means. The number of hair particles on the plane. Second one is seed. The randomness of the particles on your plane. Just play with it. You can change the length of the hair here. Next one is segments, which means the amount of segments you have on your strands. More segments equal more control over the strands and also smoother curve. For example, if you put number 10 on segments, you will have exactly 10 segments on each hair. Now before we go any further, something that I don't see many people mention, in the render properties while you're using Eevee, go down and in the hair section, you'll find these options. You can put it on a strip for better results in Eevee. Back to particle properties in the render section, we have material. You can select the material of your hair here, make sure you have the material in your plane. If not, it's not gonna appear in this section. Below that, we have steps. The more steps you have, the more segments your strands gonna have in the final render, which means smoother curve in the hair. But more steps equal heavier projects, so keep that in mind. We also have the exact same option in the viewport display. It's the same thing, but it goes out for what you see in the viewport right now. We have show amateur option in render and viewport display. If you only want to see your hair and not the plane under it, turn it off. Now for the good part. In the children section, we got three options. First one doesn't do anything. If you put it on simple, it adds hair around every strands you have. You can increase or decrease the number of hairs around it. Interpolated means it adds hair between the strands and it smoothly fills in the empty spots on the plane. And by increasing the number, you can see it slowly fills in the middle. Under the display amount, we got render amount, which means the amount of children hair you want to see in the final render. You can make the hair shorter by decreasing the length. We got another seed here. That means the same thing as the first one. Another important one is clumping. By increasing the clump, the hair tips get close to each other. And by decreasing, the hair roots get close to each other. And shape defines where this clumping begin to happen. We got three different parts in roughness. First one affects the whole hair. By increasing the uniform, the hair gets wrinkled and you can change the size of it here. Next one only affects the end point of the hair. And by changing the shape, you can change the starting point of this effect. Third one is pretty good. It's similar to the first one, but you can actually change the threshold. When you put it on half, only half of the hair gets this effect. 0 means all of them and 1 means none. This one gives the hair a lot more realistic look and it's really good for making frizzy hair. Next one is kink. I explained the best ones. Braid. It pulls the hair together. Amplitude is the scale of these braids. Frequency is the amount of these you'll have in your strands. Wave add wavy effect to the hair and other options are same as the braid. There's no need to explain it again. And curl. Obviously used for creating curly hair. These were the three popular ones. Moving on. In the hair shape, diameter root is the thickness of the root and tip is thickness of the end point and diameter scale scale up the whole strand. Now for the vertex group. This is really exciting because it gives us a lot of control over the hair. Go to weight paint mode and paint whatever you like. Oh, okay, maybe something else. And go to object data properties and rename it to whatever you want. I named it number one. You can make another vertex group by clicking on plus. Back to particle properties, I put the number one in density. Now you can see only painted parts have hair. And if I change it to the second vertex group that I made, you see the hair move to the new location. I put the same one to the length. The red parts have the full length of the hair and the hair gets shorter when it gets to the yellow and green areas and no hair in the blue parts. If I put the text group on clump and go back and change the clump, you can see only painted parts are affected by the clumping. Same thing goes for kink, only painted parts are curly now. And at last roughness, you should know how it works by now. You put the vertex group in and you tweak the settings. Ok we are done with the settings. Now for the particle edit mode, press N to bring up this menu. First increase the path steps to your segment number, so we can have a smooth curve in our strands. We got few options here. If you turn off strand length, the hair gets stretched while you are grooming it. You can drag it everywhere and it stretches to infinite and beyond. But while it's on, it maintains its length and no matter how hard you try, you can't stretch it any further. Next we got root position. If we turn this off, we can drag the whole hair and move it anywhere we want, since the hair roots get detached from the plane. But when it's on, roots are attached to the plane and you can only groom the hair. 
another one is deflect emitter while it's on it always keep the hair from going through the mesh you can also change the distance zero means the hair just touches the mesh but doesn't go through but if you turn this off completely it doesn't care it goes through anything i suggest you keep this on but in a lower distance number okay let's get to know the tools that we're gonna use first one is comb you can groom the hair using this tool next one is smooth what it does is basically relaxing the strands and get rid of the jitteriness and waves add tool you can add new hair strands using this tool in the tool menu we have count number whatever the number is it's gonna add that many hair on the plane every time you click you can put it on one to manually add hairs one by one it's really useful after that we got length tool you can increase or decrease the length of the strands using this tool on the right menu you can switch between grow and shrink grow means increasing the length and shrink means decreasing another important one is cut tool it's literally a scissor i don't think it's necessary to explain what scissors do so moving on okay if you made it this far congrats you know the basics now let's create this beautiful and easy hairstyle using these tools that i mentioned before we do that we're gonna make the vertex screw for the hair select your model go to side view in the edit mode while you're in x-ray mode select the faces in the hair area when you did that in object data properties make a new vertex group and click on assign make another one for the side and another one for the top only now what we're gonna do is to select our first vertex group that contains the whole head and click on select then assign it to other two vertex groups when it's done i'm deselecting the top part of the head then click on remove so only top parts remain on this vertex group press ctrl i to invert the faces now selecting the side vertex group click on remove now we got a whole head a top part a side part that we're gonna assign the hair particles to these areas remember it can be different for each hairstyle so start your reference before doing so you can go to weight paint mode and fix or smooth out any parts you think is rough first i select the model and add the hair particles i put these numbers on emission but it can be different in your situation increase the path to my segment amount in both viewport and render section then at the vertex groups i put my top vertex group that i made in density go to particle edit mode and now we are ready to groom i start dragging the hair to the back from different views not gonna speed up the video too much for you guys to actually see what I'm doing. I make the hair in the back a bit shorter, then select the vertices in the bottom while proportional editing is on, I scale it down by pressing S to get the tips close to each other. Now for more control over the roots of the hair, make sure you're in point select mode. Press F3 and search select roots. Press Ctrl plus to grow the selection, then right click and subdivide. This way we could have smoother curves in the roots. In children section I put it on interpolated and increase the display amount to see how the hair turned out for the first time. For more realism I added some clump to the hair. Maybe some uniform roughness to overall shape of the hair and random roughness with 0.5 threshold to get that realistic frizzy hair sticking out. You can mess around with the size of course to see what fits you best.
Now for the kink, I use braids. Increase the amplitude and decrease the frequency to make it less intense. I go to EV render mode to see the hair better. Then fix the issues or parts that I don't like back in particle edit mode. If you think it's necessary to see your hair while grooming, turn on children. The left side is kinda missing some strands, so I manually add a few to fill out the empty distance between them, then groom them just like the rest. Now it looks kinda decent. So I move on to the next part of our hair making, the side. In particle properties, add a new particle system and put it on hair. This time a really short number for the length. Again, this is according to my reference. You should change it based on yours. Since it's a really short hair and doesn't need curving that much, I put the number 2 on the segments. In the vertex group, put the side vertex group that we made in density. Whenever you think you need more hair in some areas, just add some. But make sure the keys number on the right menu is matching with the number you entered for the segments on this particle system so they could have the same amount of segments. Then start grooming the hair based on the flow of the hair, which has a standard but not for everybody, so always look at your reference. Back in object mode in particle settings, I put it on interpolated, increase the display and render amount by a lot to fill in the side of the head, then increase the hair shape size to thicken it up a bit. For now I give it a simple brown color material, I think it looks good, but I'm gonna cover the hair shader in Eevee in a separate video next week, cause we can do a lot of cool things with it. I can't explain it in this video, it gets a bit long. I start adding more strands in the front, cause I wanted the hairline more visible, then groom and drag it beneath the hair on top. And that's about it. Next week we're gonna cover how to give it a nice hair shader in Eevee and multiple colors and stuff. So be sure to check that one out. And yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.